I want to get very adventurous because this is exotic Southern Indian cuisine. These are the best prawns I've ever had. My friend, it was incredible. Thank you. Good evening everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Bin here in Hyderabad, India. And tonight I'm here at Ulavachuru. This place specializes in exotic southern Indian cuisine. I cannot wait to try this because I haven't tried anything on this menu. We're trying like 12, 13 different things. Let's go inside and eat some delicious food. Follow me. Okay, so as soon as you walk in, they hand you this complimentary sweet. It's called Mysupur. It looks like a, yeah, it's like a little brick right here. Yeah. Oh. Feels like a, a little gooey, like a fudge, right? Yeah. Mmm. It's like caramel. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Caramel. Look at this. It just breaks apart like a little rock. Mmm. It's very sweet, isn't it? The texture is like extremely creamy inside, like buttery. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's fantastic, but. I don't think I want to start with sweets. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go, the first thing we're trying is a tandoori fish. It's a marrow fish, and basically it's made with some masala and some other spices. This thing looks incredible. I've never had this before. A fish tandoori, tandoori fish. And then we're also gonna try it with some mint chutney, okay? So you gotta be careful, you have to get in here and see if there's any bones, you know. I personally can't stand spines. Good thing it was mostly deboned. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Okay, here we go. Oh wow. Mmm. It's funny because it, it actually has a texture of like mud. And, I don't know, that's really random, but it has that texture. It's very, uh, it's like, it's not as soft as a regular fish, like a you know, sea bass, a flounder. It has a lot of spices here. And the way it, it, they cook it in the tandoori, it has a smoky taste to it. Yeah. And it goes really good with the mint. Mmm. And then after that. Oh, it's awesome. I personally never like eating fillet, fish fillets because of the bones. But if they do it like this and they do it perfectly, I'm game. Oh, oh, bro. Oh. Yeah, you gotta chew. Like, gotta be really careful. Yeah, yeah. Tissue paper. Okay, it's fine. My my audience loves me, right? Yeah. <laughs> so right here we have bangla kuri, and basically it's chicken wrapped in a potato. It's like a for me it was like almost like a popcorn chicken with a lot of masala all over, it, and then the potato wrap. I've never seen this before. And the way you do it is just going. Pretty good. Yeah. That's spicy. A little crunchy. Oh. Mm. I love the cilantro. Mm. There is like some pepper flakes on it. I I really like this. This is something like you share with a family. Yeah. They're almost like a. What would you say? It's like almost like popcorn chicken, but obviously with the potato wrap. Pretty cool, unique. I like it, my friend. Mmm. Oh yeah. Okay, so this is a river prawn with masala. It looks incredible. The only problem is I don't know how to say it because it's really long. It's like kola bala 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 bala. Yeah. It's <laughs> difficult. It's difficult. It's difficult. And so as you can see, you got some cilantro. You have this super spicy green pet chili there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get in here. Oh, this looks incredible. Look at this. Oh. All right, here we go. Mmm. Oh yeah, this is amazing. Mmm. It's getting a little spicy. There's always spice. There's always spice. Like, it doesn't fail, especially in Southern Indian cuisine. They always have some spice. Mmm. Very chewy. I love the texture. Mmm. Dude, it's getting really hot. I want to get very adventurous because this is exotic Southern Indian cuisine. I'm gonna burn my taste buds right now. Oh. Fire, like super hot. Mmm. These are the best prawns I've ever had. My friend, it was incredible. Thank you. Our next dish is one of the most exotic dishes I've ever seen. Basically, it's bamboo chicken. They cook raw chicken inside a bamboo. Then they pour it out here, and then they put some masala spices on top. Now, let's dive in. Wow. Oh my god, every dish is blowing me away. 
Let's see. Here we go. Mmm, this is crazy. It has a taste of bamboo, straight up. Feels really? like I'm eating a plant mixed with chicken. And that masala, it's like, it's almost like in the States it would be like green curry. Yeah. Mmm. This is so amazing. Wow. This is the best dish. The best dish in the house. The other thing is this. Yeah. It keeps getting better and better and better and better. And better. So I'm going to be trying the bamboo chicken as well. And I've got to say, this is a wonderful dish. Wow. Mmm. So flavorful, so smoky. Chicken is so tender. It's like, where have you been all my life? So good. It has such complex flavors. I mean, when you first put it in your mouth, it tastes a lot of different spices, but as you roll it around on your tongue, it becomes even more richer and more flavorful. This is one of the best chicken dishes I've had in a very long time. Here we have Goli de Peru. This is a spicy fried chicken. It looks amazing. It actually reminds me of hot Nashville chicken. You know that fried chicken? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, there's some bones in here. I'm gonna get a few because I just love this. I think it's actually like little chicken wings here. There is bones here, little bones. That's one thing I noticed here in, um, in India. There's always chicken comes with bones. Here we go. Super tender. Little spicy, not too spicy. Not as spicy as the as the other thing we had, the prawns. Yeah, that was yeah. super spicy. That was the spiciest thing so far, I'd say. Mmm. I love it. A lot of this red masala, I guess that's like the spice. Oh, just break it up. So it's not like popcorn chicken, you know, because this has bones in it. But it's pretty damn good. Mmm. Oh, there's a the spice. There. <coughs> Can take some water. Yeah, there's a spice. That's really spicy, huh? I took down like three chilies in there. <laughs> <laughs> All at one time. I mean, uh, our food is be spicy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Southern Indian food is always yeah, spicy, you know? Spicy, yeah. <laughs> I love it. For me, spicy food is the best food. It I is. like. I have a problem having food that doesn't have any spice. It's like that's there's like, nothing. There's nothing worse than that. It's too bland. It's that's too bland. why I love Mexico. It's Mexico is like spice, 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 spice. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in heaven. I'm really in heaven. Your restaurant's amazing. Okay, because that chicken was so hot, my mouth is like on fire right now. It's like all numb. They provided us with rose milk. Rose milk. Mmm. Oh. Mmm, super sweet. You can taste the rose, man. Mmm, this is amazing. Mmm. I've actually had rose like water and I'm in multiple places actually. And this has to be one of my favorites because it's like a frothy milk and they also put some cashews and almond on top. Oh, it's pistachio too. Oh, wow. Oh, it's cooling down the. Oh my gosh. My mouth is going down, thank God. Mm. Just what we need. Wow, that chicken was so, so hot. Like, it, it like, it took a while to hit me. <laughs> I know, it wouldn't go away. It was lingering, lingering. Oh, all right, now I can continue to my next meal. Okay, so the next dish we have is bandu meret kapai. And it's like a vegetable kebab, like tiny kebabs, vegetables. What is this? Okay, I think that's good, my friend. It's a lot. <laughs> We're having like 10 dishes. I'm exploding already. Hey, 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 no photography. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <It's a> joke, <laughs> joke. <laughs> 1, <000 rupee. laughs> One thousand rupees. <laughs> okay, here we go. Mmm. 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 You know, it almost tastes like orange chicken, like Chinese orange chicken. Oh, wow. Mmm, it's fantastic. Wow. So it's got, it's got a nice glaze on the outside? Nice glaze, it's orangey glaze, a little, very like tangy. Ooh. And then it's like, it's like condensed vegetables basically on this little stick. Mmm. Oh. Another, another hit. Our next dish is Raji Gari Koli Palau. Their signature dish, and this is basically a steamed palau. There is a hard boiled egg, which was then deep fried on top. And what else is in here? Some chicken? Chicken vegetables? Yes, chicken. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're giving me the egg? Yeah, oh <laughs> you get God. the egg, bro. The egg. <laughs> you better eat it all. <laughs> oh, wow. It's a chicken. Vegetables. This actually looks like a risotto. The way it's like very moist. My friend, that's such a good. <laughs> we can't eat this. 
Guys, we've been eating so much, this is ridiculous. As you can see, oh, it, it, you know, it is like a risotto. Steaming hot, my god. Big chunks of chicken, and then, I mean, look at this piece of egg. Come on, guys. Look at this. It's very moist. Feels like a risotto, or it could be like a, like a paella from Valencia. Look at that. Herbs. Let me get a chunk of chicken right here. Right, I'm gonna have to let this thing sit for a second because it's boiling. Oh my god, wow. Moist. Mmm, the chicken's super soft. Oh my god. This is so unique. I've never had a palau actually. I thought it was all about biryanis, but palau is another type of, another type of rice dish. Very different. It's like, it's like imagine having fried rice and then having risotto. That's what it's compared to. And it is like a risotto. Very similar. This was steamed. So you have all these chutneys. Chutney for this, okay. Boom. And which one is this? This is gongura chutney. Gongura chutney. So you're trying it with gongura chutney. Hmm. I don't know what that is, man. I have no idea. Type of vegetable, I guess. Okay. I'm gonna try the other other chutney now. Yes. Michika salam chutney. Hmm. That one really reminds me of a. It's like a sweet. Oh, but now it's a spiciness. My God. Sweet and spicy. Sweet and spicy. It's like a sweet and sour almost. But we have another thing to try here. Ulovacharu. Ulovacharu. This is a very thick, like, pasty sauce. Mmm. No smoking. Lots of peppers in that sauce. Mmm. This is awesome, but I'm too full, guys. Next dish. Matika mutton palau. So this is a lamb palau that is cooked in this clay pot. Wow. And like I told you guys before, my favorite thing is lamb. Lamb and goat. Mm. So that's okay, my friend. I've, I've eaten way too much. Here we have it. Oh, wow. The aroma just hits you the second you go. Oh, you can smell the lamb. Smell the lamb. Oh, it's fantastic. I love the spices they cooked it with too. Just I can smell so many different flavors. Oh, it's gonna be amazing. Here we go. That's the butteriest lamb I ever had. Wow. Wow. They must cook it like at 5,000 degrees or something, bro. Because <laughs> I think it fell apart so quick. Wow. Oh man. That's like next level tender. Next level. Right. Next up, I'm trying Gatwal Guri Palau, and this is a chicken-based palau. I think it has tomato kind of rice, and the most fascinating feature of all is that it has an omelette base at the very bottom. So I'm gonna try to take a bite with the omelette, breaking off a piece of the omelette here, putting some rice on top of it. Check that out, guys. Omelette plus rice. That is the winning combo. Mmm. Mmm. Really interesting having it with the omelette, because we haven't tried that before. This one isn't as strong of a palau, it's not as spicy, but it has, it's kind of lighter, which is nice, because we've been having some very spicy ones. I do like it, and the omelette is such a nice addition. It's a pretty cool uh, palau to try here. Our last dish here is Guti Huancaya Palau. This is the owner's mother's recipe. It's a veg palau. This is like an eggplant actually on top, right? That's eggplant? Looks like eggplant? Yeah, it looks like it. And then rice. Oh, you only live once, right? YOLO? YOLO. This is YOLO meal. This is really the ultimate YOLO meal. Okay, here we go. Mm. It's a very light sauce. Not spicy at all. Mm, I love the eggplant in here. Oh, wow. And the best part about it is you mix the sauce with the rice. Oh, let's go to town with this. It's so delicious, it's creamy. Man, that sauce. Can you send me this in, to America? Sure, definitely. Please, please, I need some. So we had one of the best meals of all time. Exotic, Southern Indian dishes. I've never tried, I mean, none of these dishes I've never tried yeah, before. Insane, some of them were very spicy, some of them were creamy. They were all delicious. My number one was definitely the bamboo chicken. Number two is probably the prawns because they were spicy. The fish was amazing. This palau is the best palau out of all of them. 
and that is exotic southern Indian food at Ula Bacharo. You have to visit this place when you come to Hyderabad. If you don't come here and you don't try this food, you did not visit southern India. I hope you guys love this video. Please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, subscribe to Sam and Audrey, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you on the next Indian travel adventure with David's been here.